As you can imagine, the news of Barway's death is affecting those who knew him and those that had never met the boy. Reporter Sonia Goins has been following this story since it first broke. She picks up our team coverage with reaction from the community. Now, Alex and Shannon, I'm at the apartment complex where you can see a memorial for Barway is growing. There's been many people stopping by to bring all kind of teddy bears and other items. There's been mixed reaction from the community, from people who say they're very sad to those who are downright angry that someone could do this to a little boy. I'm a mother. I'm hurting right now just to know that this little boy had to die in the arms of maybe somebody he know. Barway's death was too much to take for Magdalene, who has a 12-year-old daughter. Sad, heartbroken. <laughs> It's tough to know that as parents, we should protect our children and not harm them. It's a very difficult time for students and staff and families. The news of Barway's death is surreal to students and staff at Evergreen Park World Studies Elementary, where Barway was a fourth grader. The last day I remember him, he was uh, holding the door open as a group of students uh, left through that door number eight and then uh, got into his van and went home. Counselors were on hand to help students and staff cope with the tragedy. Officials say they want to keep things as normal as possible while remembering the little boy who made so many people happy. We'll remember Barway as a, a student that smiled a lot, who was helpful, uh, who had uh, energy and uh, had many friends. Barway's body was found Saturday by a group of volunteers, which included several Boy Scouts. I must say, collectively, the community is who found Barway. Shalia organized the search and says while death brings closure, it's still pretty hard to take in. I actually broke down to my knees and cried because it's terrible that anybody would do this to a, to a child especially. Now, Alex and Shannon, later on today, the Liberian community will be meeting here to talk about bringing Barway's biological mom back to the States so she could attend his funeral. In Crystal, Sonia Goins, 12 News. All right, thanks, Sonia.